What is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today we are back with a wish list style video for you guys we got the wwe ultimate editions the wwe ultimate editions are probably i don't know they probably are number one on my most anticipated or figures right now in the wrestling space that i'm most excited for i think the supreme editions from aew are also up there i just get so much enjoyment out of these guys you know with the butterfly joints and the added articulation and the details the interchangeable head sculpts i mean they are the top of the line they are the top of the line and today we're going to be going through my official wish list for Mattel to make some of these WWE Ultimate Editions. Now you guys know that these videos actually have a pretty good track record because previous videos we have included figures that ended up being made and a lot of them lately man I mean I had Roddy Piper on my list I had Randy Orton on my list I had an 01 Kurt Angle on my list Andre the Giant was on my list one of my first wish lists ever I think I had Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins on there and those came to fruition Eddie Guerrero was also on there so we have seen a lot of these figures be made and now we are officially on to another wish list man so today we're diving into my wish list for WWE Ultimate Editions now I gotta be real with you there are a lot of guys that they've made man they filled a lot of holes they have checked a lot of boxes and so I had to really think about this because while I take some guys as ultimate editions I don't really have guys that I'm just foaming at the mouth to have as an ultimate edition outside of some other guys and this is a realistic list this is not there's no sting on this list there's no Chris Jericho these are all realistic things these are all figures that can be made guys that are under contract guys that are under contract with Mattel right now that could be made at any given moment they could you know at the drop of a hat they could be made so let's dive into my list shut the hell up and get into it man starting out first on my list it's gonna be a guy we've already seen but i think it would be beautiful man seth freaking rollins the ultimate edition just got released not too long ago we got an in-depth review on the channel definitely check it out if you guys missed it one of the better ultimate editions that mattel has made i'd say it's definitely in my top three i think in my ultimate edition ranking my official ranking i put it at number two on my list i think it was just ahead of aj styles very good figure very good formula moves around great looks aesthetically pleasing beautiful looking figure i think they could legitimately just use that figure i mean maybe not the belt sculpt exactly well on one of these attires you could but i want to see a i think it was SummerSlam 2018 if i'm not mistaken it may have been 2017 but i think it was SummerSlam 2018 in the thanos gear that's one that i really want to see mattel make and we had a chance at it and we all blew it away it was in the fan takeover it was supposed to be an elite i guess it worked out that it didn't win the elite vote but i want to see it in ultimate edition the thanos gear would be absolutely beautiful man with all the bells and whistles you could have the entrance gear you could have the interchangeable head sculpts you'd have the beautiful infinity gauntlet if you do, if, if you can't put the added metallic paint for the stones i understand it but that leave that up to the customizers leave that up to the community to do the work and fill in the holes that mattel cannot legally do so that is something that you would like to see but outside of that man elite 45 rollins right SummerSlam 2015 seth rollins give it to me man give it to me that's something i want to see there and one thing that i also thought about is you know we we always bish and we always talk about the greatest hits wave and stuff like that right i would love to see them but why not just put uh, Seth Rollins either Thanos gear or the Elite 45 redo with the updated formula and better bells and whistles why don't I just put that in the SummerSlam Elite Build-A-Figure set I don't know how you couldn't do that Brad it's right there for the taking but in Ultimate Edition form removable gauntlets we've talked about it at nauseum they're on my wish list both of these guys gotta see them Ultimate Edition preferably but I'd take them in Elite but uh, this is my Ultimate Editions here today Seth Rollins and the Thanos or Elite 45 redo here we go next up on my list man is gonna be Stone Cold Steve Austin nothing against Stone Cold Steve Austin's Ultimate Edition I love it. It's it's up there. It's in my top 10 ultimates ever. Uh, I love Stone Cold Steve Austin, one of my favorites of all time. I love the figure in general, but you know, it's kind of outdated now. It's it's very skinny like his legs and his arms and his torso. The proportions are all off. I think they could really, really do him justice to give him maybe a little bit beefier torso, give him bigger arms, give him thicker thighs, just have him a lot more proportionate. You give him like the head sculpts were damn near perfect. I don't know how you're gonna do any better than they did last time, but I believe in them. I believe in them. You you could give him the baseball jersey that we've been clamoring for. Make it Velcro in the front, you know, something like that. Maybe you can throw it on some different Austins. You know, I think even an Austin in the blue jorts would be fantastic with du dual knee braces, all those things. Throw in a couple cloth t-shirts. There's so many ways you could do it, but Stone Cold Steve Austin is an ultimate edition I want to see, and he's on my wish list because I think he needs to be redone. I think they need to revisit that one and give it to us. Next up on my wish list is going to be a non-demon Finn Balor ultimate edition, man. His demon figure is fantastic. 
fantastic, though it is kind of outdated. You know, it didn't have butterfly joints. It's got pins in the joints, things of that nature. There are things that they could certainly improve on on the demon. I love that demon Finn Balor, one of my favorites of all time as well. Really good figure by non-demon Finn with a ripped up Rick Rude torso, butterfly joint, sleeved arm, shooter hands. You give him the nice faded beard that I've been trying to ask for. And I'm not talking about a Judgment Day Finn Balor. I think we are going to get an elite of that sooner or later. Maybe at Comic-Con we'll see a render of an upcoming Judgment Day. I think a Judgment Day pack would be really dope with an elite, uh, updated elite Dominic, Rhea, Finn, Damian Pri. It'd be a really cool pack, but that's besides the point. Also, there's an elite four pack coming that's very strange. I don't have a lot of details for you there, but just know that I know it's coming. I also know what the SDCC exclusive is, so just throwing that out there. Very interesting choices. Very interesting choices that I'm, I'm, I'm excited for. I think they're pretty cool, but... You know, it, that's all I can put out there for now. We'll see what comes of that. But Finn Balor, non-demon, leather jacket, pissed off head sculpt, screaming head sculpt, shooter hands. I want him in the in the trunks, man. I want to see trunks Finn Balor with a nice leather tapered jacket that's cloth. I mean, I guess they could do it with the removable arm gimmick as well, like Bret Hart or Ronda Rousey. I just don't think those come out good. When you have those, like, baggy sleeves, I, I don't know. I guess Finn Balor's jacket wasn't really baggy, so I guess it would work. I don't know. I, ah, I don't know. Give me a... I guess I could always... I guess give me the articulated version because I could always order a leather jacket or a you know like a cloth jacket to stick on there but nonetheless Finn Balor's on my list non-demon Finn Balor for my ultimate editions next up on the list is going to be my boy Kevin Owens man Kevin Owens I don't know if he'll ever get an ultimate but he can certainly be on my list right I think that he certainly worked his way up into a top superstar I think everybody loves Kevin Owens or a lot of people do if they don't you're you're a full top five wrestler in the world right now fantastic talent I think that the way they could do this is give him butterfly joints in a uh, on on a regular torso like a skin tone torso that's a little bit you know it's got some chunkage to it but then you give him two or three cloth good shirts with no velcro to throw over to the top so you could have multiple options you could have a shirtless KO which I don't think we've ever seen on WWE TV you could have uh, one of his classic shirts like a KO shirt or just pick out a few of his best looks and give those to us in that cloth Stone Cold Steve Austin ultimate form that have graphics on the front and back no Velcro, and it would be really great. I think that'd be a great thing. You'd have a screaming head sculpt. We've never seen that outside of the Elite 101 where he was mocking Stone Cold Steve Austin and he had a bald cap on. So we'd like to see a screaming head sculpt for Kevin Owens, a pissed off version. You'd have all the different hands, interchangeable. You'd have all the different shirts. I mean, I think it just writes itself, man. I think that would be fantastic. So Kevin Owens is on my Ultimate Edition wish list. And then outside of that, man, I have some other names, but I feel like the, there's like no shot at all that we'll ever get Ultimates of them. You know what I mean? I just don't think I mean I know that you could like finesse it if it's a legend maybe you could finesse it in a two-pack like I remember when they were about to talk about Terry Funk getting an ultimate edition and I said there's no way that that I predicted we were getting ultimate edition two packs because I saw the Terry Funk figure way before it was shown off and I said ultimate two packs have to be a thing because there's no way this guy got his own ultimate by itself and I was sure enough right but guys like Dolph Ziggler and you know other guys like that that I would like to see an ultimate out of they're just they're not making him you know what I mean so and and then other people that I would like to see an ultimate out of are in AEW or they're just not getting one. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that's kind of where that guy, like your Stings of the world, your Jeff Hardy's of the world, Chris Jericho. There's so many guys that I'd like to see ultimate editions of, but they just do not have the uh, the space there, man. They're just It's just not going to happen. You know what I'm saying? And then as far as female talent, we've seen Becky Lynch before. I'd like to see her probably revisited at one point. Bianca Belair's getting one, which is awesome. I think Asuka would be a really great ultimate edition as well. We've seen a Ronda that was really good. I don't think we really need to update at this point. She has a couple new elites already. It's like, you know, and I don't think that would sell the best, especially right now with her character on television. And then, like, guys like Cedric Alexander and guys that I love, I just don't see those guys getting Ultimate Editions, you know? So, I, I that's kind of where my list ends, pretty much. So, and then everybody else, you're just not, yeah, like, I'd, I'd love to see a Jesse Ventura Ultimate or something like that. Just things just aren't going to happen, you know? And uh, you, you just have to accept that sometimes. So, that's why it's left up to customization and all those different things, man. But that pretty much wraps up my wish list for now. I think that a lot of these are great. I think you could probably throw in some other. I think Ricky Steamboat could possibly get an Ultimate Edition. I mean, a George the Animal Steel got an Ultimate Edition. I think that there's plenty of guys that could get Ultimate Editions, and I could see that coming to fruition. So we will have to see, man. But that is going to wrap up my Ultimate Edition wish list for now, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your Ultimate Edition wish list down below. And what do you think the odds are, or what do you think of my list down in the comment section below? I'd like to know all those things, man. But 
before we get out of here, huge shout out to the patrons of the MDT YouTube channel. Huge shout out to those guys. Love you guys so very much. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. If you guys are interested in that, oh yeah, just thought about it. Just hit me in the dome looking at the, the B-roll. The Gobbledygooker has an Ultimate Edition, man. So do not, do not underestimate the ability to get an Ultimate Edition. If you throw it in a two-pack and it makes sense, they can make it happen. So I guess anything's plausible, but I'm not going to hold my breath on a Dolph Ziggler Ultimate Edition, man. But anyways, huge shout out to the patrons. I'm getting out of here, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'm getting out of here. See you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time.